Jumanji viewers and random Jumanji fans. And today we're going to review this, which is the Jumanji board game. Oh God! Ah, you know we only have this one cable. Why does it make me feel bad? <laughs> So Anthony, if you remember a couple of years back, I made a video on this, which yes. is a Jumanji board game replica that I put together whenever I was 14, 15 or something like that, just because I was a huge fan of Jumanji yeah. and the full story's in that video basically. There's a link floating above our heads here somewhere where it'll tell you the full story in that video. Built it, put it together, it opens up and stuff and it has the full kind of board game and stuff on the inside of it. The one thing that I couldn't really work out how to make was the pieces. So for years, I was trying to track down somewhere or some prop company or something that made these. And no one ever did. Until recently, I got in touch with a guy, Alan, from Random Prop Shop. And he's a good friend of Daniel Gormley from Candy Geeks. That's the company ah. that made the Ghostbusters Proton Pack. He put a post up saying, I'm making Jumanji board game pieces. I thought all my Christmases had come at once. So let's have a quick look-see at them and have a quick yeah. talk-see about them, shall we? So they come in this little kind of drawstring bag, which I thought was quite cool. And you get all of them, like you get the, what is that, a crocodile? You get like the little crocodile. That's crocodile. And this one's a monkey. Yeah, you get the monkey, you get the elephant, which was Alan Parrish's one in the movie, if I, I remember think so, correctly. Yeah. And you also get the rhino, the white rhino. Uh, and all four of these look incredible. These are made as uh, 3D printed pieces. That is really cool. And the detail on them, I think, is wonderful. I, I, I do the, like the fact that they're weathered as well. well they are weathered, yeah, with the, the paint apps and stuff on them. But you can see that they are 3D printed. You can see, you know, the little various layers. You the can sort see of the, the bottom layer where Yeah, you can the see the, the telltale signs that they are 3D printed. But that's only if you're looking for them. Like, to actually look at this, I think that looks like it's it's carved out of... Like, you know, precious stone or something yeah. like that. I think it looks really, yeah, really me, good. You know what this one looks like? It looks like jade. Like, 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 yeah, 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 yeah that, that sort of material. You know, the great thing about them is as well is that they perfectly fit the board that I made. You know, the scary thing about it is because I watched the movies, I'm afraid to drop them in the next minute. They just fall to the ground. And go no, it's, it's when you drop up. the dice. Yeah, they all, drop the dice. They all wake up going, where are <laughs> <laughs> No, it wouldn't have been amazing if you put them, if you just kind of set them on the board and they immediately snapped into the corners. <laughs> no, imagine even more. They all snapped in the corners, this big, massive vortex happens and we just disappear. Yeah. That's the in, end of the review. In the jungle, we must <laughs> wait until the dice read five or eight. No one plays board games anymore. We're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> we would be, yeah. That is a very, very dying <laughs> thing nowadays. <laughs> But yeah, no, I love all four of these. I think the, the detail on them is incredible for the size of them because they are, I mean, they're very, very small. I mean, look at the size of that. That's about it, the size of my is, thumb. It is crazy, the fact is that they, they were like they were made for this. So it's really beautiful to get these. And do you know what? Even as a display piece, even without the board, like there is still reasoning behind getting these because there's not that much Jumanji merchandise very out there. Little. So it's nice to own these and you know you can set them and put them up on display and go this is my representation of my love for Jumanji. So we've got the dice as well and are they 3D printed as well. These are 3D printed too and they're weathered as well. Here I'll tell you what, we've got two you may look at one I may look at one they're both identical. They've even got even that the nice chips and stuff like Yeah, like there's like the little scuffs kind of, like they've been hitting the board when they're rolling. Like it always kind of flashes me back to that scene you know at the end of the movie where Van Pelt catches him and he drops the dice and one goes like tumbling over the edge. Yeah. And you see it kind of close up of it rolling. Like I recently rewatched that scene just to prepare for this video. It's identical, dude. Really? It is identical. Like the color that uh, Alan's used from Random Prop Shop is exceptional. You can see where it's weathered, where it's aged around the sides. Even the way the, the design of the number six, where it's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. you know, the, the two lines of three, it's, like it looks like the number four, but then the I'd two the little middle. ones in the middle. It's unbelievable how well this is done. See that tell, that's what I like. I like a person who is very dedicated to their craft. Yeah, and they've put such attention yeah, to detail. That's into what it. I like. I don't like people who make props, but half-ass it. You know, you can take these dice and hold them and go. This is exactly the type of thing the actor was like, holding, and it sounds like dice. Yeah, if you, if you listen to it. 
It sounds like yeah. that. that's crazy. But it's like it, it just brings you that little bit closer to that movie's world and that movie's universe. And and there's there's a lot of movies that spoke to me when I was a child. Jumanji was definitely one of them. Mm -hmm. So to get to that stage where you can go, this is this is exactly like the prop that Robin Williams held in the movie. Yeah. You know and. Dropped oh, it on God. the board. So, oh, snake, oh, snake eyes, everyone loses. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you get all four of the pieces plus the dice in this little pouch. And that's available through uh, the random prop shop Etsy account. Also, another thing too is if you want to uh, make a wee project for yourself and want to make the board. Yeah, you've, you've, you've finally now have a place where you can buy the pieces. Yeah, you've, and you've also got your starting point as well. Like if you were going to get these first, you know, obviously with these, they do kind of fit, but that's purely by accident Yeah. that I built it to this size and scale. If you went out and got those first, you can take measurements off those and use those as kind of a gauge to build your own board. Random Prop Shop has said to me, he is in the process of building his own Jumanji board replica which he will be selling at some point in the future. <laughs> and if these are anything to go off of, that's going to be some piece of kit. Like, from what he's told me at the moment, and obviously it's all subject to change and blah, 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 but he has said, like, some of the ideas that he's come out with are knocking my socks off. Like, I wish this existed back when I was a kid so I could actually own it and bring it, I'd bring it to school and go, look, it's Jumanji and it's real. Freak them all out. Honestly, this is stuff that I could only dream of when I was a kid and now it's happening and it's not even big companies that are making this. This is one guy that has the talent and the skill and more importantly, the 3D printer and CAD designs to make this work. It's true what they say, the fans can make something better than the, it is than the people themselves. Not, yeah. in the, not putting the show or anything down or the movies and down, but it well, is. It's, it's just more the fact that it's given the fans exactly what they've always wanted. Yeah. Now to hear the fact that this guy is going all out and building a full board game. That's exciting times. I can't that wait for that. Times. I really can't. And this guy has made some beautiful stuff. Again, it's all on his Etsy page. It's on his Instagram as well. I'm gonna, do you know what? I'm gonna come out with it. I'm gonna say the Rhino is my favorite. That's your ultimate favorite. That's my favorite. Out of the four, I'm stuck between the crocodile or alligator. The alleg croc. Alleg croc. <laughs> the alleg croc, yeah. Or the monkey. Or the monkey. The monkey. Yeah, the yeah. reason I like the monkey, it feels like it looks like jade. It looks like it. You must find the jade monkey uh -huh. before the next full moon. Actually, we found the jade monkey, sir. It was in your glove compartment. Really? And the driving gloves and ice scraper? They're in there too, sir. Excellent. <laughs> it's all falling into place. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry, random Simpsons reference uh, there. You like have to love the 30 Simpsons. years ago. Yeah, so Anthony, overall, would you reckon... What are you doing? What are, it's a new smell. You know when you get a new thing and you want to sniff it? Oh, and your car smell? Yeah. It actually uh, does have a smell, though. Yeah, okay. Brilliant. It does now that you've had your mouth in it. I did have my nose in <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so Anthony, overall, would you recommend these? What do you think of them? You know the story by now. Go. This guy's took a lot of time to do this. Yeah. And you really need to show him some love. Uh, I do love the fact that they're st properly screen accurate. Like the weathering and I say, I love them. No, I think you, you hit the nail on the head with that one. There's nothing really else I can say about them. I, I want more now. Yeah, I want I, more. <laughs> I think they're fantastic. I think for the size of them as well, the details Dying. are extraordinary. I love the weathering, the dice especially. Like They, they really stand out for me. Uh, I think they make great display pieces. They also work so well in conjunction with this board game that I made when I was 14 and I had no life, as opposed to now where I'm 28 and I have no life. Progress! I get a tiny bag of film. Time happened. <laughs> Time <laughs> happened. <laughs> Bye, everyone. He has to go back and rethink. Random life. prop shop, link in the description. Help him out. He's a lad. Buy Cheers. them all. Buy them all. Show yeah. love. Show love. Much bye love. now. Buy them and bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Buy them and bye. Bye bye. 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 Are we ending this? Yes! Oh, right. Bye. Bye! <laughs> It's not turning off. Give me something to throw at the camera! Ugh. Paper's not gonna do nothing. Turn off! <laughs>